Hello, my beautiful darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Leo only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. Um, I also have a Cancer and Virgo only channel. The links to those are below. Readings can be vice versa, so flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. If you're looking to learn how to read tarot or start a YouTube channel, you can check out my tarot tutorial. It's about two and a half hours to three hours long. The link is below. If you're looking to book a personal reading with me, the link is below. Um, if you'd like to check out my new tarot and oracle decks, we're going to be using those today. Um, the link to my website is below. I'm also doing mystery tarot decks, oracle decks, and uh, mystery crystal boxes, uh, which are really beautiful. Um, so all those links are in the description box below, okay? All right, my loves, let's see what we have here for you today. Let's see what we have for my little lion cubs. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay. Ooh. All right, we've got offended, nostalgia, and spells. Okay, so Cancer, there, it was Cancer. Why do I keep saying Cancer all day today? Um, Leo, there is a narcissist. In your mist here this is someone that is feeling very offended because they're missing you and you may not feel the same way Leo and here's what's worse this person practices witchcraft okay this could be a romantic interest this could be a friend a family member okay there is someone here that is deeply offended or deeply insulted or hurt or annoyed um, because they're missing you and uh, you don't miss them back. It, this separation or whatever the case may be, it, the fight that took place, it doesn't phase you, okay? And it's destroying this narcissist ego that you don't care, okay? This person has a very fragile, fragile ego and it's destroying them that you're just living your best life without them, okay? All right, so let's see what we have here. Let's go ahead and use Spirit Shield Tarot to see what's going on with this. Um, so Leo, it concerns me that this person, so this is someone that actually practices witchcraft or Leo. Um, you know, we all have gifts. Some of us pursue those gifts and acknowledge them. Others of us, you know, get afraid of them or we don't pursue them. Um, but this person could potentially have a bloodline or an ancestry of very powerful witches. So when they get mad or they have rage or they get upset or whatever, you know, that energy, like they, they do witchcraft without even knowing it. At the end of the day, Leo, witchcraft is just setting your intention on something, okay? That's all it is. All these other things that we use, candles and everything else, it's just a visual representation of what we're trying to do. But real realistically that's why you know spelling is spell work that's why they say watch what you think watch what oh leo one moment please i am so sorry leo but that was a very important call that i had to take okay spirit tell me about leo please tell me about leo please tell me about leo please tell me about leo Okay, we've got the Five of Wands and we've got the Hierophant. We've got the Emperor and we've got the Queen of Swords. I have a bad feeling about this energy, Leo. I do not like this. I really don't like this energy. Tell me about Leo, please. The Hermit and the Ace of Wands. Leo, this is someone that is not, uh, if this person is Christian, they're mad at God. And if they're not Christian, 
this is someone that d dislikes the Christian God very strongly. This is someone that is taking matters into their own hands. This is someone that's becoming very defensive and they want to assert power and dominance over the situation. This is someone that believes that they are stronger than God himself. With the Hermit and the Ace of Wands, this is someone that is thinking of ways and spells with the Ace of Wands to get you back. This person wants you back under their thumb. They want you back under their thumb. Uh, this is someone that uh, if this person knows that they practice magic, like if they know what they're doing, this is someone that um, works with demons. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it real. I don't mean to scare you guys, but I have to read what I see. Okay, this is someone that works with very negative entities or negative spirits. If this person does not work with witchcraft, this person has a demonic entity or negative spirits around them that do their bidding. Like if this person just, you know, thinks a bad thought, that this negative entity will go ahead and feed into it and do its bidding. Okay, this is a very ugly, 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 ugly energy. And this person likes to assert dominance, okay? This person is not stupid. They are very intelligent and, and well-versed. So even if this person is not a witch or, um, um, I forget the name of a male uh, witch. I, I, it, it escapes me right now. But whether this person knows it or not, they are very much aware that they have a very strong and dominating energy. It's a very controlling person Leo and this is somebody that wants you back under their thumb okay this is someone that thinks that they can compete with God five of wands and the ace of wands wanted to come out when they think of you sleeping with someone else or moving on with someone else it makes them very angry I mean like 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 rage type of angry okay tell me about hierophant here and the eight of swords the problem that this person is running into leo is that they may not believe in god they may hate god they may have issues with god but god is binding this person so Leo, you may um, be Christian or you may know that, you know, no matter what you believe in, that all you have to do is say, I bind you in the name of Jesus or I bind you, you know, you know how to bind evil. Okay. So whatever God it is that you worship, or if you are a witch yourself, you bind negative energy. You are able to do that. And the problem that this person's going to run into is that their hands are tied when it comes down to hurting you. Tell me about this emperor energy. And the three of wands with the six of wands, this person wants to win. They want to win. They want to prove that with the strength card and the queen of swords that they are stronger than you spiritually in the 3D and in the 5D. Tell me about the hermit here for Leo. The four of swords in the reverse. This person is not over it. Leo, you may have had a falling out with somebody. This could be an ex or whatever the case may be. You may, or a family member or a friend or something like that. You may have had a falling out with somebody here and they, you might be over it. They're not there. I'm telling you right now, they are not over it. Tell me about this ace of wands and the devil. They're caught. Let me tell you something. This person, if this is an actual witch and you don't know them to practice black magic 
they're about to start. This person is getting the devil on the phone, ace of wands and the devil. With the hermit here especially, they're learning different a different type of magic. Could be voodoo, hoodoo, I, I don't know. I, I'm not really into voodoo or hoodoo, but I know, you know, I don't know if, if that works with negative entities, but this is someone that could be getting into satanic stuff. This is somebody that is going down roads that they've never gone down before. That's how badly they want to win. That's how badly they want to win and hurt you. And I feel like this is someone that with the Seven of Cups has no idea what they're getting themselves into. This is someone that has no idea what they're getting themselves into, Leo. And they're going to end up with a house full of demonic entities or negative spirits. Whether they practice magic or not, even if they don't practice magic, okay, they could be saying things about you or having such negative thoughts. You have to understand demonic entities or negative entities, dark entities, they feed off of those type of thoughts. They feel they feed off of anger, jealousy, hatred, rage. They feed off of those things. <clears throat> so because the person on this side is sitting in the, that energy of jealousy and envy and anger and rage and, you know, uh, you know, hating God maybe or turning on uh, certain gods or whatever. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, they they're being haunted this person is being haunted by multiple entities right now this person has multiple multiple not just one demonic spirits or negative entities around them okay and it's because they're not getting what they want they want a ten of cups here they want a relationship with you whether it's a family member a friend or a love interest they want you know your love back they want they want you near them again and with the five of swords and the six of cups again either an ex or a, fr a friend or a family member here with the five of swords this person will stop at nothing to win they will stop at nothing to win either this person you know they're going to win by getting you back into their life or they're going to try to disrupt your life and hurt your life as revenge or punishment for not taking them back into your life. You know, with the Two of Swords and the King of Swords, I feel that, Leo, you could have this person shut out. So what they're planning on doing is, you know, creating blockages for you or hurting you until you reconcile with them. Page of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, they want you back. Do you understand? So if it's either, you know what I'm saying, you know, they're trying to come back to you and you're very serious about blocking this person out, you don't want them in your life. Um, but this person is going to try to disrupt your life and your energy, you know, until you do what they want you to do. Oh my gosh, I don't like that energy. Okay, Spirit, tell me about Leo. What do we have here for Leo? What do we have here for Leo? What do we have here for Leo? Okay. Leo, I feel like some of you could be moving into a new apartment or a new home. You're very comfortable in your home space right now. Wherever you are is home to me. I love being with you and I want to come home to you. So Leo, this could be new love that you have coming in, that you, you meet someone that feels like home to you, or it could be a new home situation. But you have here seducer and shady. You've got someone, this past person coming back into your life life that is very uh very shady okay and this is someone it says here homewrecker and siren this is someone that's coming in because they want to destroy everything that you're building right now okay so if this person sees you moving forward and purchasing a new home or moving to a new place or just very comfortable in your life right now they want to disrupt your peace or leo if this person sees you um in a new relationship where you're you're you know you have a very strong soul tie with this new person or you and this new person get along very well and you're together all the time they want to disrupt that okay this past person is a karmic okay and then we've got twin flame here so leo it could be that you're coming into an energy where you're about to meet your twin flame and a karmic is you know this this third party here could be a karmic and guys keep in mind that karmics, you know, could be friends, family members, or, you know, love interests, okay, like exes and stuff like that. So I feel like you're coming into an energy, Leo, where you're about to meet your twin and be very happy in your home life. But this is somebody that's trying to disrupt your peace or destroy everything that you're trying to build. Okay. 
Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Tell me about Leo, please. Ten of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, Leo, if you haven't met this person yet, you're about to. There's a Ten of Cups energy with the Four of Pentacles. You're about to meet someone and you guys are always around each other, okay? You love being around each other. Very strong soul tie here between you and this person. Twin flame soul tie type energy. You guys always want to be around each other. Four of Pentacles. You have no interest in letting go of this person. This person has no interest in letting go of you. And here comes this person with the Ten of Swords energy. Um, this person, you know, wants to cause pain they want to cause painful endings in your life they want to you know this person could have hurt you in the past with the eight of cups they want to destroy this they want your new person to walk away from you or for you to walk away from your new person or you know if you are purchasing a new home or something like that like whatever you're building that you're in love with right now whether it's your business whether it's purchasing a new home whether it's a new romantic situation they want people to hurt you and walk away from you. They want to see you suffering with the nine of swords here. That this person wants to see you suffering. They want to hurt you, okay? Four of wands again, the 1111 card, okay? So this is your stability, Leo. This is, you know, uh your work. This could be a, a a twin flame connection, a new love interest. This could be your home. This person sees you happy. This person sees you happy. You're, if you're not happy right now, Leo, you're coming into an era where you're going to be very happy. And with the Seven of Wands and the Magician here, they are using magic to block that, okay? They're using magic to block that because this person is hoping that if you experience endings in your life, that you'll change your mind and take them back and run towards them, okay? And run towards them. see here all right spirit tell me about leo please tell me about this ten of cups for leo the high priestess so leo i feel like you're trying to keep your business as quiet as possible if you're starting a new business if you're in a new relationship if you're buying a new house you're trying to keep your life as quiet as possible tell me about the four of pentacles and the magician in the reverse. It doesn't matter. This person could be a, a, a tarot reader or they're going to tarot readers. Even if you're trying to keep quiet about what's happening in your life, they know. They know what's happening in your life through tarot readings. And with the magician in the reverse, they're using dark magic to try to take it from you. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. And the hermit, this person wants to see you alone, broken, desolate, homeless, you know what I'm saying? They want to see, and, and they want this so that, because right now you're in an energy with the eight of cups of emotionally being disconnected from this person, not caring, living your own life. What they want with the ace of pentacles and the eight of pentacles is for you to go to them for help. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like this person wants to see you desolate and on your knees, uh, going towards them. Like, can you help me with this? Can you help me? me with that do you understand but I feel here Leo that with the Queen of Wands the two of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles you know this is someone that doesn't understand how you're maintaining your stability so Leo I'm not sure if this is actually affecting you because I'm seeing this person that does witchcraft or whoever this is not understanding how you're still going how you're still waking up every day by now you know you should have experienced endings and be crying and suffering and in pain do you understand what I'm saying by now you should be hurting and on the phone with them begging them for help tell me about the nine of swords please with the judgment card Tell me about the four of wands, please. And the nine of wands. You're, I'm telling you, Leo, this person is hoping that you'll be so stressed out and in such a panic and so much anxiety and not sleeping. You know, negative entities, uh, demonic entities, dark entities, the first thing that they attack is your sleep. 
Why? Because when you don't get good sleep, you can't think straight. And if you can't think straight, then you can't focus on work or bills or life, your kids on defending yourself, right? So they're hoping that, you know, if they get you into this nine of swords energy, that you will then give them another chance because you're just so mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically weak that they can overcome you. Do you understand? But with the nine of wands and the four of wands, Leo, your stability is extremely protected here. Extremely protected here. extremely protected all right leo we're going to take this into the extended okay so i want to find out what's going to is this person ever going to give up and leave you alone okay are they are they going to succeed in hurting you in any way is there anything you need to know with that and then for for uh, the next reading that we're going to do in the extended i'm going to do two readings um we're going to take a look at all this beautiful stuff that you've got coming in leo because i'm seeing a lot of a, a beautiful connection here maybe a new house you know what i'm saying you've got a lot of beautiful stuff coming towards you so let's Let's take a look at that and see if this person is going to be able to affect any of it. I'm seeing you being very protected, but let's just see if there's anything else that you need to know. Okay. The link for the extended is in the description box uh, below and in the comment section below. I love you and I will see you there. Take care, my loves.